Hello and welcome back to another Space Engineers Showcase video. In today's video, we're looking at another small fighter, and this one is called the Cephas S30 Draco, which is this lovely thing right here. So this is a fairly large, large block ship that utilizes hydrogen thrusters to get around. It has rocket launchers at the front to shoot your enemies, and it has everything you need to survive in survival mode, thanks to its assemblers, refinery, and a very small interior for you to hide in. Pressing F10 and finding it in the spawn menu, there it is. The Draco is 386 large blocks using none of the DLC packs. It has no scripts and no mods. So we'll give this a little thumbs up then move all the way around to the very front. And we'll have a quick look around the outside. Then we'll head on to the interior, take a look at that, and then we'll fly it around for a bit. So starting all the way over to here, this is what we get. We've got two interior lights on our left and our right, and we've got two cameras to peer out of. If you were to move forwards in between those, we've got some hydrogen thrusters which have got some passages laid out in front of them. And then we've got this traditional window block with a regular cockpit sitting right behind it. Now you can get into the cockpit via this area right here, but you're generally going to be getting in from behind because that's the interior. Yes, coming out of there and starting to move all the way around the side here. This is what we get. We've got these lovely white and light blue blocks that are connected on via a hinge. They don't move, it's just how they've been angled. So if you wanted to, you could remove these and add some more onto the ship, or you could try and make it so they fold all the way around, but that would require altering some of the stuff behind it so it doesn't clang into it. But I'll show you that a bit later. If you were to continue around the side here, more hydrogen thrusters, a large hydrogen tank to store all your hydrogen in. And as we move further around to the back there, some oxygen tanks to make sure you don't suffocate on a long voyage. And at the very back here, this is what we get. So we've got four hydrogen thrusters that have been surrounded by some stairs and some sloped blocks, and encased in some vanilla passages. And then in here, we've got this lovely blue setup, which is made out of refineries, hydrogen engines and assemblers and this is your main portion of the ship that you want to keep alive in survival mode or you're going to be in a lot of trouble. So yes, if we move all the way up to here, there is our hydrogen engines, there's our refinery and we can see a jump drive because we can jump 2000 kilometers. If you were to move all the way to the front, we can see the hydrogen tank on the opposite side. We've got some more hydrogen thrusters to help us move down and a lone interior turret to fend off those pesky drones. Continue along to the front, there I am standing right there and you can clearly see the hinges on the left and the right. Coming all the way down and underneath this thing, past our cockpit, there's our rocket launchers. Then moving all the way over to here, this is how we're going to get in and out. It's nothing fancy on the inside, it's simply a nice to have when you need to cower from oncoming fire. And of course you can always replace some of the stuff in there with some DLC blocks if you wanted to, but that's entirely up to you. If you were to continue along to the back there, we've got two more interior turrets, a ore detector and a connector. And then the landing gear to plop yourself down on. Then we can see the bottom of our little refinery area. We've got an assembler with two modules on it. And there we go for the back. So it's a fantastic little ship with a lot going on of it. Now it's time for me to grab hold of my character and we'll take a quick look inside. So coming all the way down and underneath this thing, all the way over to here. Where is it gone? There it is we come to our doorway. Opening up the doorway and coming in and closing it up right behind us, whoop! That happens quite a lot with this doorway. Just gonna make sure we get all the way up into the passage. There we go, close that up, and now we can just drop ourselves down onto the ground. So this is the rear of the cockpit and there is the door, so we just easily get in and out to fly this thing. Then turning around and looking up, we've got a small little living quarter. We've got some passages being used as beds and an LCD screen saying Cosmic Team, explore the future. The only other notable thing inside here is this part right here where we can access a battery if we wanted to, and we've got a small gap there to allow the air vent to oxygenate the area. Yes, like I said, if you have access to the DLC packs, you can remove these and add beds in, maybe even add a toilet and maybe a locker to store some stuff inside, but that's entirely up to you. Yes, coming all the way down to here and across. Oh, there we go. We can now get into the cockpit, bring up the HUD, and see what this thing can do. So number one is going to be to fire our rocket launchers at the front there. They fire both together, no script involved, but you can always script it up if you want to. 
Number two is to turn on and off our interior turrets around the ship. So there's off and there's on. And number three is to simply turn off all the hydrogen thrusters around the ship. So there we go. Number five is to view the camera at the very front there so we can fire our rocket launches in front. And number eight is to simply jump 2,000 kilometers thanks to our lovely jump drive. So off we go with this in eight seconds, we'll then jump. And while we're jumping, number nine is for our ore detector on and off. And there we go, lovely stuff. On tab number two, three and four, we have nothing else going on here. So it's now time to fly this thing around. And you probably noticed that we are maxing out our power thanks to jumping, but that will slowly go down and shouldn't really impact too much unless of course you're trying to refine and assemble stuff at the same time. Yes, going forwards, this is what we get. We've got a nice lot of speed, thanks to those four hydrogen thrusters at the back there. And stopping is not too bad, but we are reliant on two at the very front there. And when we come to a complete stop, we'll move left, and we'll move right. We've got some nice thrust with that. Then going down, a lot slower than everything else, and going up a lot faster than everything else, but that is what you want with a ship. You want to be able to pull out of an atmosphere as fast as possible, and you don't want to get caught into a gravity trap. Yes, moving my mouse around, this is what we get. We've got a little bit of weight on here, which is very nice to have. It's not too floaty and very responsive. Yes, as I was saying about the hinges at the front there, you can, if you want to, make them open up. If you really want to do, that is. So we just come into here and find our hinges. There we go, we just grab this one. We'll turn it on, unlock the hinge, and then we'll reverse it. So we can very slowly open that up and we will just do the same for the opposite side, which is unlock it and then reverse it. And there we go, that'll do with that. So now we just hop out of here and very quickly take a sneaky look inside and come into here. So yes, these are just simply being angled at the front and on the inside we can see some hydrogen thrusters that are just sticking out the front and these are our passages. Coming over to here, we've got a battery and a few conveys that you could just easily repair up and of course you can always come around and disconnect those if you don't want them to have them hanging off the edge. Although it does look quite nice when it's like that. It looks good with them angled but opened up like so. You could always fit some more rockets in there if you wanted to. But we'll just come into here, we'll find the hinges and we'll simply detach them, reverse away from them. There we go, nice and smooth. And we'll once again get out of it. And there we go. So coming over to this side right here, instead of having a conveyor block just blocking up this area next to the battery, we can see we've got an air vent that's going to suck in oxygen from your surroundings to refill your tanks. Yes, as for that, there's not too much else to talk about. It's a very nice ship design with how it's been set up, and you've got a lot of customization that you can do if you own the DLC packs. But as for that, that is pretty much it for the ship. There'll be a link to it in the description below if you do wish to download and play around with it yourself. I'll be back with another video some point soon. Bye bye.